hi guys so this video like i'll advise everybody to watch the video from the beginning to the end okay so this video i'll show you how to place a trade with, with the signal i give how to move stop loss to break even and how to take partials profit and how to make deposit on bybit like i always advise before you download bybit and login make sure you click on my partnership link and register because you'll be able to like claim some bonuses some coupon and if there's any airdrop in the nearest future you'll be automatically qualified because you register using my partnership link those are the advantages so let's proceed so first of all if you want to let's start from uh how to place trade using um my decent signals how to place trade so as you all know we trade using derivatives or let me just start with how to make deposit let's say you've clicked on my partnership link you've registered okay and then you've downloaded the app you've logged in you've done your qic and you want to make your first deposit you can make your first deposit through depositing to your wallet address by clicking on assets funding you want to fund right then you choose usdt when you choose usdt you click on um deposits okay you will see your usdt wallet address which you will see an option to copy your wallet address then you go to any exchanger like trust wallet coinbase cool coin binance and send um the amount you want to use to fund your bybit account the, this is the first method of deposits then it will come it will now come to your funding you see it here on your funding then from your funding you now transfer you click on transfer you now click transfer from your funding to your to your derivatives of to your unified trading account all are the same please you guys should listen to this version carefully um this video carefully so when you say you want to transfer from funding to unified trading or to inverse unified or to derivatives all are the same then you now choose the coin since it's usdt you deposited you now click on usdt then you click on max or you click on the amount maybe you want to use let's say 500 then you transfer then it will start showing here like like mine was like mine is showing now six thousand dollars six and six thousand usdt so it's now be showing in your derivatives or your unified trading all are the same you know, and you can use any to, to trade futures and buy it so that's the first method to deposit the second method to deposit is you come um you 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 click on um buy like deposit you click on you want to you want to buy you come to your assets click on your funding click on the usdt but this time around you not click on deposits you click on buy you want to buy so it will take you to where you can buy p2p there's what to call p2p where you can buy from someone you send it you send money to someone's account then um you like the person will send you the um this in the coins you bought the usdt then you click on the amount you want to buy let's say you want to buy five let, let's say you want to buy five hundred dollars or hundred dollars let's say hundred dollars then now come and check the rates what is the current rate here when you click on buy the current rate is 763 or let's say 764 then you come here 764 times let's say 100 dollar 100 that means you have to send that person 76,400 then you come here you just click on that amount 76,400 then you confirm then they will show you people available that want to sell on, on on that price then you click on buy when you click on buy you click on 70 six thousand four hundred naira. okay you see you will receive under you check it you will receive 100 usdt then you click on buy then when you click on buy you understand when you click on buy like this when you click on buy they will show you all the look i'm just doing this for you guys okay then uh they will now say you will now say contact a seller you will see the person's like rules and information and number but then you come here then you click on pay now when you click on pay now you will send this person seventy six thousand four hundred naira. okay when you click when you when you click on pay now they are going to provide the person's account number to you then before you send to that person immediately already your bank app is ready then you click on paid like you've sent already 
Don't click on paid and you should not go and send it. You click on paid and you did not send it, they are going to restrict your account. Binance is going to block you. It's going to restrict your account. So be very careful because some people used to try like, maybe they will click paid and then um, the person will release the coin. The person is not dumb. The person will not release coin when he has not received his payment. So that way the person will appeal and then the Binance will restrict your account. People are messaging me that Binance received my account. They wanted to scam or do, do something fishy. So click on paid, then copy the person's account number, go to your bank app, pay that same amount that is there, 76,400 naira, then wait for the person to release your coins, okay? So that's it for it. Since me, I'm not buying, so I'll just cancel. I'll just cancel. So I'll go back. So this is how to deposit. So that same thing, when you send the money to that person's account number, the... Hundred dollar will come to your funding. Then you still click on the funding. Then you click on transfer. Then you see transfer from funding to derivative or to unified trading or to or all are the same. Then you choose the assets. You exit. Then you write max. Then you confirm. Then it will, it will automatically be moved to your unified trading or your um derivatives. All are the same, like I said. So, how how to place a trade using uh how to place a trade using the signal and how to move stop loss to break even and how to take partials. These are, these are very important topics. So let's continue. So if you want to take partial, um, if you want to place trade using the signal I give, let's take BTC for example. Let's take BTC for example. You come here. Normally, I used to say use twenty x. That's what I used to give. Use twenty x highs, sometimes ten x. So you adjust it here. Make sure you are on cross. Look, you know there is copy trading here. Sometimes the the app will show you like this. Copy trading. No, tap on that copy trading. Change it to standard. Change it to standard. Hmm. So you see, when I convert it to copy trading, the money was not showing. But when I convert it to standard, there's money. So you change it to standard. Most of my signal are on markets. So you click on this market. If your own is in limit, you click on the limit to convert it to market like this. So that if you place a trade, it will execute immediately. So let's proceed. Let's take a signal from the from my group. Let's pick a signal from all the signals I give. Like as you as as you can see, we've been making money like throughout the week, as you can see clearly. So let's look for a signal. Let's take a signal. Let's take a signal. Let's take a signal. We have already gotten money from this signal. I'm just using it to like give you guys an example. Screenshot plenty pass signal safe. Okay, this is a signal. <laughs> Let's take this BTC signal for example. This is how I, my signal usually come. You see futures trading by bit exchanger. For example, now if I give a signal like this, I say BTC slash USD, USDT long so you come here you click here you choose btc okay if i give another signal name then you just come here and search the name the name will come up but for now i give btc so you see btc then you click on btc then you go to the signal the signal said entry market price then you come here make sure you are on market price not on limit you click on this place market price then what again next i said you use 10% of your capital, right? Then you come here, then you adjust the value to 10% like this. You see, you can use all your capital. The higher the capital, you use the higher the profit. The smaller the capital, you use the smaller the profit. But because of risk management and money management, that's why I say use 10% of, of your capital. Since me, I'm giving an example and I've not done any analysis this money, I'll just use 5% of my capital. I'm willing to risk it just to make this video for you guys, okay? So, um, um this thing leverage let's say 20x let's use 20x leverage no more save so let's proceed then you come here leverage or i, I said cross 20x and we've done it cross 20x save then you come you now say targets then you click on this your tp slash sl take tp means target take profit sl means stop loss then you click on it, 
sometimes if the signal is short, tap on short before you put those your take profit and stop loss. Be careful, please. If not, they'll be telling you um, request as expired or something. So since this one is long, we'll click on long before we put our TP and SL. Take profit and stop loss. Target and stop loss, all is the same. But if the signal is in short, you click here. Take your time and watch this video as I'm taking my time to explain to you. Then click on long. Then come here. Target set 27,526. Then you see. 27,526. You see, if this price should go to that amount, to that my take profit, I will make $473. I'm going to make 82% of my investment. I'm going to make $472 if the price should go to 27,526. Then stop loss. My stop loss is 24,000. 943 28,943 if the market should go against me i will lose minus 100 and something percent which is 650 dollar you understand as as of the time i give like this is this is the old signal btc have moved already that's why you are seeing like the loss is higher than the profits but when i give the signal the profit is actually higher than the loss that's how we trade okay so this is how you take signal but for now let me place a random trade just to prove a point and show you guys how to take partials and how to move stop loss to break even let's do this so I've, for the, i'll see risk 20 and uh, 20 x i'll see use 20 x leverage here and i'll see risk 10 percent or five percent of my capital then i'll see risk um then i'll see let me put my stop loss. What's the current price of BTC? Let's check. Let's check. So BTC is in 26. So let me just analyze roughly. Mind you, this is just for like a, a, an example. I'm not trading. So my stop loss will be around. I'll put my stop loss to be 26,100. Then I'll, my take profit should just be 26. Okay, 27. 27 26 100 my stop loss 26 100 my take profit should be 27000 so if this thing should go to 27000 i'll make 246 dollar if it should go to um my stop loss i will lose 145 dollar which is 25 percent i will lose minus 25 percent where if you go to my take profit i'll get plus 43 percent so let's just place the trade let me reduce the leverage a bit, a bit, a bit. this is just for example for example so so as you can see as i re as i reduce the leverage i got this is what i'll get 27 bar mm -hmm. almost still the same but then the percentage reduced let's place this trade no fear i long so when you long like this when you long so this is what we show if you enter in the in the market price this is what we show you see now mine is in position which means i'm already in the market so if the market is going against me i'll start seeing minus something i'll start seeing loss if the market is going the way i predicted it it will start showing me profit i don't know if you understand guys so that's it so how do you take partials and how do you move stop loss to break even whenever you've placed a trade so let's do this So let's do this. So if you want to maybe take partials, then you now click and click on close by. You want to take partials, you click on close by. Then you say, okay, you want to take ten percent of your profit. Or that's when you are in profit. If you are in profit, we are going to be sharing screenshots in the group. And if I say secure your profit or take partials and move stop loss to break even, this is what you do. You come here, you tap on close by here, then you click on. Maybe take 50% of your profits or 75% of your profit. That's what you would do. As for me now, this signal I place, I am making 0 0.4 cents. So let's say I want to take partials now. I'll say I want to take 50% of my profit since I'm in small profit. So I'll click on it like this. 
that's me taking partials. Once I click on it, like this, you understand? I've taken partials, okay? Taking partials. Then I'll come here. Then if I want to move stop loss to break even, I'll come. Then I'll now check entry, entry price. That is break even now. Move stop loss to the market price you used to enter the trade. That's what we mean by break even. So entry price is we use 26,430 to enter the market. That's what you check. You click on that unrealized P and L that arrow up. You click on it like this, like this. So you now you now check which price did you to enter. Mind you, it's when we are in profit, that's when we do this to secure our profit too. So I'm just showing, for example. So entry price is 26,430. Then you come here, click on this, your stop loss and take profit. Then you now move it 26,430. What did you see here? Expected profit is 0, 0.00 and your ROI will be zero percent, which means that if you confirm it like this, if you are in profit and you now confirm it like this, you click on it, even if the market is coming against you, you won't lose anything. You've taken partials 50 percent or 75 percent, and now you are moving your stop loss to break even, and you are safe, you have secure your profit. There's no way you can ever lose. That's what I do on a daily basis, and that's how I trade. And I will expect everyone to be that smart. I'll pin this video in the group and I'll leave it there forever for any new member that will join. Thank you. But for now, me, I'll just leave this trade to just be going. Since it's just, even if I'm too lost, I'll lose $71. Thank you, guys.